Do solid state hard drives outperform mechanical hard drives? Great question from Cliff in Dallas, Texas. Cliff writes, hey Paul, I am currently using an iMac computer with the older ATA hard drive to play lossless imported CD files through iTunes in an outboard DAC. Can you tell me if a newer SSD, solid state drive, hard drive would make any difference sonically? And also, what about reliability? Do SSD hard drives last as long as ATA hard drives? Thanks. Cliff. Wow. Well, conventional, here we go. <laughs> conventional audiophile wisdom states that solid state drives sound better than spinning hard drives. So let's look a little deeper. A solid state hard drive is essentially a whole bunch of CMOS memory gates. You ever seen these flash drives, these little USB memory sticks? Well, just take one of those, or let me correct that, just take a whole bunch of those, put it into a hard drive, into a hard drive case, and now you've got yourself a solid state drive. And it's completely solid state. There's no moving parts to it. It's just something that theoretically should go forever. And if we look at a mechanical hard drive, you've got these miracle disks. How they do this, to me, I think is one of the greatest miracles I have ever heard of. They have little silver disks, little flat silver disks, spinning at incredibly high speeds with a servo-driven mechanical laser running across this, uh, not a laser, I'm sorry, uh, a pickup head because it's magnetic. And the metal disks in a hard drive spin very fast. They are so flat that they can be measured in angstroms of light. That's, and they do it for nothing. You can buy terabytes of spinning hard drives for $100. I, I mean, that, that just boggles my mind how they do that. So here's, as I said, the conventional wisdom. Conventional wisdom suggests, yes, solid state drives sound better than mechanical spinning drives. And in general, they do, but I don't think because the data is any different. In fact, I know the data isn't any different whatsoever. But we do know that within systems, the power supplies, the, the data buses and all are, are all interconnected on common grounds. And as a mechanical drive is, is, is grinding away and doing its stuff, it reacts very differently from, to a power supply than a solid state drive does. So my suspicion, my observations, I have no proof, okay? Don't need to get on me about, prove it. My observations suggest that that may have something to do with greater jitter, with something coming out. I, you know, I can't actually be even jitter because when it comes out of the drive, there's no clock associated. So we can't, we can't claim um, timing errors because the clock comes later. So maybe it's upsetting the rest of the system. I don't know. But I can tell you this. If you take a Mac Mini, which is, I use a few Mac Minis here, and you compare the identical programs on two different identical Mac Minis. The one with a solid state drive typically sounds a little better than the one with a hard drive built in. Not by much, but a little. Maybe something noticeable. Could I walk into a room as I can with many things and pick out the one? Probably not. So, placebo effect, I don't know, whatever. I don't pay a lot of attention to it. Two of my three Mac Minis have mechanical hard drives and the other one, the main one, has a solid state drive. They, they all work great. I wouldn't pay a lot of attention to it personally. Now we're in the process of building a new server. It'll be the Octave server. And I know that as a company we have to pay attention to what people's belief systems are, true or not. So ours will probably have a solid state drive just to make everybody happy. But 
As far as reliability goes, mechanical drives are extremely reliable. Now, they're mechanical, so they could easily die more easily than a solid state drive. But here's something interesting. Solid state drives only have so many times that you can write to them. And every time you write to them, they're, they're slowly degrading a little bit. So when they build these things, they have much greater storage capacity than they actually need to meet spec. Because there's a limited number of write cycles that you can have to a solid state drive. That's why you know, they're not real good for something that's continually erasing, writing, erasing, writing. And they're not great for that. They're, they, you would shy away from them for that. But in the instance of a server, you're going to put music on there once, twice, three times, add to it every once in a while, they'll go forever. So that's, you've now exhausted my entire knowledge <laughs> of solid state drives. Hope that helped a little bit. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.